to the Winter Games in Beijing, Team USA has claimed its first medals. Julia Moreno from Westport, Connecticut, won silver in slope-style snowboard, and Jalen Koff of Vail, Colorado, took silver in women's moguls. But the Team USA is still chasing gold, with Norway topping the medal count. CBS's Jamie Yukis has more. This is the Zhenjaku Mountain Venue, site of most of the ski and snowboard events. It was here that 24-year-old Julie Marino soared to his silver in the women's slope style. But the moment really belonged to Zoe Sadowski Senate, who nailed her third and final run. And the celebration was on, embraced by her competitors, including American Marino. It's the first ever winter medal for New Zealand. Tell me about the moment. Um, yeah, it was a pretty crazy moment landing that last run and that last jump. I, in the air, I was like, I have to use every part of me to land this. While her emotion was raw and real, it's worth noting that the course itself was artificial. These games are the first with 100% man-made snow because while plenty cold, on average, this area only sees two days of precipitation in February. To watch what unfolds in the mountain, every step of the journey has to stay within the bubble. Separate boarding areas and separate rail cars from the general population. The trains sleekly slice through some beautiful landscapes. The high-speed train starts off pretty slowly, but it starts revving up. It'll reach 217 miles per hour. That's three times faster than a cheetah. On arrival, yes, more temperature checks and mandatory sanitizing. At the mountain, the facilities here feel a bit more posh. The press center is normally a luxury ski resort. China's banking on a post-Olympic winter sports boom here. The mountain zone continues to be challenging from COVID to the artificial snow and today the winds gusts of up to 40 miles per hour postpone men's downhill, which would have been the opening to alpine skiing. Jamie Yuka, CBS News, Zhenjiaku, China.